In the beginning, we had uh, the two-wheel drives and four-wheel drives race together, but our RC10 was good enough in the beginning that it was beating the four-wheel drive cars, so it was a natural progression to change to a, a separate four-wheel drive class, and, uh, and so now we have the four separate classes that, that don't race together anymore. Since the original RC10, technology has advanced and tracks have changed as racers were always pushing the limits to go faster and win races. However, there comes a point where a chassis performance is maximized and it's time for a new design. That design is the all new team associated RC10 B7. We decided that we needed to make a B7 and not just another B6 iteration because there really is an evolution process to our race cars and then a revolution process. So we came out with this new car because we felt that with the B6.4, we had met the limit of what that platform could achieve. So we're always looking for more grip, more corner speed, and just an overall easier to drive car. So one of my best friends and former employee for Associated was is, uh, Cody Newmandal. And uh, he came to me uh, a few summers ago saying, I can't tell you what's going on, but I need a carpet car. So I just come off of a race, was pretty happy with how my uh, probably B6.2 at that point was, uh, was running. So I sent it to Cody. Uh, a few weeks later, it showed back up to me. Really no more details than that. Uh, and then um, you know, maybe a, a few months later, go by and uh, Sean comes in and, and tells me that uh, he's been working with Cody and an unknown source regarding development of a future product and I didn't know who the unknown person was all I knew was Cody was kind of the liaison between Associated and uh, this new design uh, yeah that was part of it <laughs> that was the the vault car yeah. that they were testing the vault car yeah but we found out that vault car couldn't jump or land or anything so for an off-road car to be good, it has to jump and land. So it was a really odd setup for us because we don't normally go this route. Uh, you know, normally we do all the in-house development, but sometimes you have to have ideas outside the box too. And you know, the engineer ended up being Kyle Klingforth, who has a lot of experience both in the industry and with touring car racing. Very accomplished racer, and obviously a, a, a talented uh, design engineer as well. I saw a lot of potential for um, just different ideas coming from all kinds of different RC industries and about racing and I saw what was there and I got really interested in uh, designing more of a complete car and not just aftermarket parts that I was doing with my 3D printer. Um, so I ended up uh, designing a off-road car, had a buddy of mine get it machined and uh, we started testing it as what we could at the time and uh, did a couple of runs and then we were like okay we might be something here and then we got in contact with Cody Newman doll and uh, he was like yeah I'll, you know contact associate and see if they're looking for anybody and see if they might be interested in, in what you're doing and uh, that's how it came to be Cody came out we did a test uh, he was interested in what he saw and from there I got in contact with Associated and the rest is history. Kyle started with the original ideas for this car. He actually showed up with those original ideas and we, him and I worked together from that point to develop a car that looked like a Team Associated car but also incorporated those original ideas as far as geometry goes. Yeah, so the idea is coming from um, obviously previous RC10s into the new car. Um, you know, B6 platform has been great for the last five, six years now. Uh, but we've kind of, we feel like we've kind of run our, run our course with that. Uh, we've optimized it so much over the years and uh, between materials and updated geometries and weight bias, um, we've gone pretty far with that. And we felt like we were at a bit of a limit of what can be done with the current platform without uh, drastic design change. 
I think with Kyle coming up with the design that he did with the B7 was genius, actually, because he's, he's, he's an on-road guy and he races off-road also. So he saw a lot of technology that was used in on-road and wondered how can this be used for off-road. He raced carpet a lot and I think carpet off-road too. So a lot of the similarities can work kind of on the carpet road racing. So thinking outside the box, he thought of a lot of the, why couldn't we use some of the touring car stuff on off-road car? Well, the original design was way outside the box. <laughs> um, can't really get into too much detail about it, but um, it is something nobody else has done for an off-road car. But that being said, there was a lot more development that may have needed to happen with that platform, but that took a lot of cues from other parts of RC, other vehicle classes like touring car and um, yeah, that one was really out there. But I think we pulled a lot from you know, full scale racing as well. Kyle and I are both Formula One fans and just in the cars, so.